Welcome back to the three months of Modal Logic, the sequel to 100 Days of Logic here with Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with November's focus on temporal logic, looking at reflexive temporal logic, also known as S4T. So, in all, all of our rough semantic demonstrations, those kind of practices with the timeline, we've been assuming that precedence is irreflexive. However, some temporal logics are reflexive due to the inclusion of an axiom equivalent to the modal alethic axiom T, or M. In this video, we will look at S4T, which includes all the axioms of K4, but adds axiom T as well. And it's going to be comparable to the alethic modal logic system S4. To be clear, now in case you've forgotten what reflexive is, I would highly suggest you check out the video previous to this one a while back on the reflexivity of precedence. Is precedence reflexive? Basically what we're saying if precedence is reflexive is that if something will always be the case in the future that it also is the case right now. All right? So, the alethic axiom T looks like it's necessary that A implies that A, and the corollary is that A implies it's possible that A. The deontic axiom T was it's obligatory that P implies that P, and the corollary was P implies it's permissible that P. Makes sense for the alethic modal logic one, doesn't make sense for the deontic modal logic. For temporal logic, we have G... P implies that P, it's going to always be the case that P implies that P is the case now, and we have similar corollaries. The alethic axiom T seems intuitive. It tells us that the actual world is a possible world, and if something is necessary, then it occurs in the actual world as well. However, the temporal one is less so. If something will always be the case, it is the case right now, if something is happening now, then it has happened before. These do not seem to make sense to me. They're going to be used as TAT in proofs, but only in proofs under the system that is reflexive like this. And because they don't make sense to me, I'm generally not going to assume reflexivity of precedence. Basically what it means is, if it's going to always be the case that P implies that P, it means that because it's always going to be the case that P, P is also the case now. Hopefully this makes sense. Basically what we're saying is if precedence is reflexive, when I say it's always going to be the case that something is true, I'm also saying that that thing is true now. If I'm saying that something happened in the past, I'm saying that that thing could have also happened now. Hopefully that makes sense. Up next, we're going to be looking at linear temporal logic, or LT, kind of adding on to the systems that we've had for our modal logics in the past. Watch this video and more here at Carnades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.